One of the recent hybrid types of life insurance that's become more popular over the last decade, it's only been around for a couple of decades, is equity indexed universal life insurance. And what this does is it bridges or, or creates a hybrid between whole life insurance, which is very safe, very uh, you know, high levels of guarantees, and the variable life insurance, which was designed a few decades ago, three decades ago, to you know, uh, buy term and invest the difference in one shell that still gave you the, the tax-free growth and creditor protection and other aspects of, of, of cash value permanent life insurance. The equity indexed life insurance gives you a guaranteed floor. Let's say, for example, a 2% guaranteed floor, you're not going to make less than 2%. Then on the upside, you're going to be capped at how much you make in a certain index. So if the, if the stock market uh, index loses 10%, your policy is going to credit you 2% that year. In a year where the stock market makes 30%, your life insurance company is going to credit you 12%. And as we look at the last decade, where the stock market averaged less than 1% per year from about 2001 to 2011, in that period of time, an equity indexed life insurance policy made a 7%, roughly a 7% return if you had a 2% uh, floor and a 12% cap because you never had those massive pullbacks like you did in 2001, 2008 with say a variable life policy that was invested in the stock market. And so because of that, it becomes very attractive as a hybrid, something in between the high risk variable life policy and the low, low risk whole life insurance policy. As you look over 20, 30 years, those returns have averaged in the uh, eight, eight and a half percent with that type of an index. Uh, eight, eight and a half percent in a whole life, in an equity index life insurance policy, once you pay for the fees and the cost of insurance, is, is netting you over, over a 20 year period of time a little bit better than the whole life policy. You know, six, maybe six and a half percent returns, return net of fees, uh, which obviously better than the, better than the whole life but it doesn't have the inherent guarantees that the whole life policy has. Uh, like any life insurance that has permanent uh, you know, cash value elements to it, you want to make sure that you have a very long time horizon. Uh, no exception here, you want to have 15, 20, even a, preferably a 30 year time horizon if you're going to be investing uh, for most people into these policies. The one exception to that would be if you were to You'll be putting in big, big amounts up front or 1035 exchanging money from another policy up front that became paid up. Uh, and again, look for those policies where possible to have a, a high early springing cash value so that when you put money in, if you need to take some money back out again, there's some liquidity to be able to do that. Uh, so the, the, the candidate for an equity index type of life insurance would be one who, who understands they're not going to get the full upside of the stock market but is not comfortable taking the risk of the stock market, and so they're, they're okay taking a little bit of the cap. It's a, it's a hybrid in between those two policies, and is appropriate for, for a, a reasonable amount of people.